Hey everybody, Reef Girl here. So it's time to save the toadstool. It really hasn't improved much in the week or so I've had extra flow on it, and there's algae all over it. It also started to slump over, which it had not been doing before, and it actually fell towards the flow, which I don't think is a very good sign. I decided to treat it with the 3% household hydrogen peroxide. I'm going to drip some over top of the coral and on the rock. Then I'll take the tank water and add it to the container and then let it rest for a few minutes. I'm taking one milliliter of the hydrogen peroxide and I'm just dripping it over the surface, targeting the algae as much as I can. And then once that one milliliter is finished, I'll take a second milliliter and use it to target the algae that's on the rock. Because what the heck, I may as well treat it while it's out of the tank. I did a video a little while ago about problems with the toadstool and this is how bad it looks. I'm hoping to rescue it. Narcosis Corals made a comment on that video and suggested maybe putting it in the sump. I think that is a great idea. It never occurred to me and that's what I'm going to do while it recovers. So I'll put a link to that original video in the description if anyone is interested in taking a look at it. You can see that I'm not pouring the tank water over top of the coral because I really don't want to wash off the hydrogen peroxide I just put on there. What I'm wanting to do is add the tank water so that by the time it covers the whole coral, the hydrogen peroxide will be very diluted and at the same time whatever is in contact with the algae will take effect. Looks like we flushed out a bristle worm. I'm going to get that guy out of there. So you can see it's bubbling away and that's really what I do want to see. I'll only leave it in here for a few minutes because after all I really don't want to burn the coral any more than absolutely necessary to just take care of that algae. So I pulled him straight out of that peroxide solution and now I'm going to put him in the sump. I've cleared a little bit of space right beside the skimmer and there's lots of flow in that spot so that should work really well. Well, the best laid plans. You can see that spot is empty. And when I came to check on this guy the next day, I found he was upside down right in that spot. So I picked him up, moved him forward, and flipped him right upside, <laughs> right side up. And uh, it's actually looking a lot better. You can really see how the algae is starting to die. Um, it's much, much less dark green, many more white spots and hopefully pretty soon that whole layer will just come right off. And the very next day, if you can believe it, it's starting to shed. There's a distinct layer of fuzz coming off of the toadstool and a snail has moved in and looks like it is doing some cleanup work. You can also see polyps starting to extend at the back. So I'm really thrilled to see this because I really, really at one point thought this thing was a goner. Here we are another couple of days later and there are many, many more polyps showing. There are also layers of tissue flaking off, quite a lot of it. And I'm wondering now whether that was the um, stuff that was going to shed anyway and the peroxide basically just burnt its way through. So I don't know whether I've kind of speeded up the shedding process or whether it really needed some help. There's fresh tissue under those layers that are flapping around there, and it's actually starting to look pretty good. So I finally decided to put the toadstool back in the display. It was getting 18 hours of light in the sump, which really I don't think was doing it much good. It's looking pretty darn good right now, and if I see the Blenny in there, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I, I'm gonna to have to watch him for a few days, because guess what? check it out he's hanging around I don't know whether he's waiting for me to go away so he can sneak back in there really not sure in any case I'm gonna have to keep an eye on it for at least a few days and just watch what he does so only a few days after the hydrogen peroxide treatment this guy is looking fantastic Thank you so much to everyone who left a comment and provided some advice in what to do about the problem I was having with this guy. 
The other thing I did was added a power head at the back of the tank aimed forward so that the flow goes just about right across the top of this thing. It goes on and off every 10 seconds. So thanks for watching. I really do appreciate it. And the input that I got was just wonderful. I can't say enough thanks for that. Check it out. We got polyps coming out.